haven't seen this many solar panels in one place ever, I think. <laughs> We've seen smaller scale solar, but to see 4,600 panels in that concentrated area producing that much power was truly exciting. Tennessee's hit two milestones with this project. Number one, it's the first megawatt in Tennessee. Uh, number two is the two millionth panel rolled off the line in Sharp, and that'll be installed here at our uh, educational center. The fact that we're now getting into megawatt scale solar projects is really a transformative because it begins to open up the possibility of solar providing a larger percentage of our electric mix across the Tennessee Valley. SACE is a wonderful organization for solar and all renewable energies because they tap into so much collective expertise in the community. And so by working with companies like EE10, they can help transform you know, what started as a concept, an idea, and really turn it into the community outreach project that we need to have for solar to really take off. You know, SACE has been the champion of solar in this area, and renewables, period. But specifically from my point, uh, I don't think that we'd see anything what's going on right now if it hadn't been from SACE early, early on uh, trying to make this happen. And in the last few years, we've really been working with utilities to get them to pay incentives and to support programs getting solar onto the grid. The more solar panels that are produced, each individual panel becomes cheaper. And so by having these large scale projects, you begin to get the economies of scale of production which drive the cost down. We're driving price down for the manufacturer. We're driving price down for the structure where our skill level's increasing. So by default, the whole price, the install cost per watt drops. And so the next time, it's easier. It gets cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. The other thing is we be, the utilities begin to get experience in using solar to help offset some of their peak demand. When the sun is out in the summer and it's very hot, then we want to use solar to provide some of our electricity there so that we don't have to use as much natural gas or coal or other technology. So I had the good fortune of being asked to put the first solar panel on these 4,600 panels. And then we had TBA executives come out and put the last panel. What was really ironic about that is the SACE has for years been advocating for clean solar, for working with the Tennessee Valley Authority to import and use these renewable technologies. And this particular uh, facility actually uh, captures uh, the historic development you. from where SACE is an advocate to where TVA now is deploying megawatt scale projects is very exciting. Solar is important because it's a renewable, it's clean, and uh, it's limitless. There's really huge potential for companies and businesses who have the capital and have the commitment to really go wild with solar and start generating not only the energy they need on a daily basis, but help offset the uses from their neighbors and their community. I don't think that any of us as installers would be anywhere close to where we are had it not been for the efforts over SACE through the years and currently. Um, it, it's been uh, a great partnership. The beauty of this particular facility is it's going to provide over 100 homes with clean renewable energy and we're going to be able to replicate this model that we're seeing developed here all across the state and all across the region and the country and across the world. So this is the beginning of a clean energy revolution as we get these megawatt scale projects online.